Hello, welcome to our first instructional video for our Agone Institute of Sports Ministry course. This is on the models of sports ministry, modern models. And every one of our Agone courses, we have 20% or so review and preview. So this would be a review, the first couple parts of our time here, a review of a little bit of our theological class and also our, our history class. And it'll give us a preview a little bit later in the course of what's coming in other courses as well. And so to start us off today, we're talking about the organizational structure in which all of our Agone courses are, are taught from. My name is Dr. Greg Linville. And I'm joined in this course and most of our courses in the Agone Institute by my dear friend and colleague, Tim Conrad. And it's Tim's ministry that he is the executive director of Uncharted Waters, as well as the ministry that I serve as the executive director, the Association of Church Sports and Recreation Ministers, or CSRM for short. It are two ministries that have gone together to create the Agone Institute, and it's provided these courses for many seminaries, Bible colleges, universities around the world, uh, including the one who got us started, Talbot. So if you're joining us from any of those places, know that you will be handed a set of hard copy PowerPoint notes of which you can take down some handwritten notes on them, and then you can reconstruct them in an electronic form for your credit. If you're taking it for certification, uh, you'll need to do the same. Remember that, particularly if you're taking it for a grade and for a degree, that all of these need to be of exam quality notes. Taking them like you would be taking an exam, a comprehensive exam. So let's get started on, on the three-tier paradigm. The PowerPoint that you would see, the, the slide that you would see, you can see are in three levels. And there's a sidebar that talks about the core values. The three-tier paradigm is how we believe that you should organize your modern models of sports ministry. What's your model today in the 21st century? And its organizational structure comes from this perspective that our movement, the sports outreach movement, is so pragmatic, meaning that it is, we deal with the what all the time. What do we do? The leagues we run, the outreaches we run, the, the fitness ministries that, that we oversee. All of these things are the what we do. Oftentimes we have problems in the what we do because we have not at all been dealing with the level one and level two. Let me give you what's happening. This is being recorded in the year of 2015. And what we're seeing is that many churches have begun to lessen and maybe even eliminate their sports outreach programs because of the fact that they are seeing their sports ministries not be proven to be effective. Many of our paraministry brothers and sisters, these would be those paraministries that are sports related and have an A in their name, like athletes of some sort, they also are experiencing difficulties because they too are geared to the what they do rather than the why, the when, the where, with whom they do it. Sports ministry movement in itself is in decline. And this is why the three-tier paradigm is so, so vital to us today. Now, I, I got the opportunity the last couple of summers to speak at a Chautauqua. A Chautauqua is a uniquely American movement that is now 142 years old. And it came into existence about the same time as did the muscular Christian era that we're going to talk a lot about during this course. And when I talk 
These are seminars that go all week long in these Chautauquas. A Chautauqua has four pillars. It has recreation, religion, the arts, and education. And so I was speaking to the education part of it, week-long seminars. These are often summer-long communities where people come to take their holidays or their vacations. They're usually at resort settings, and people come to be enlightened intellectually, to be refreshed and renewed in their physical body, and also revitalized in their spiritual life, the body, mind, and spirit that we'll talk about in this course. And when I was at the Chautauqua, a couple hundred people in, exist, in, in, in attendance over that week of seminar, seminars, I asked for a show of hands for who had ever heard of muscular Christianity. Now these were people that the average age was in their 50s, which means that there were a lot of people 60 and above, and these are educated people. Typically, the crowd is made up of a lot of professors and professional people, a lot of business executives, governmental officials. These are people who have been around, educated, knowledgeable. And when I asked for that show of hands, not one, not one person of the hundreds who were in attendance had ever heard of the term muscular Christianity. And yet, for well on to 100 years, Muscular Christianity was this incredible movement. And again, the Chautauqua movement and the Muscular Christianity movement grew together in their early years. This group of all people should have known it, should have known what Muscular Christianity was about, but they did not. This is why I believe this three-tier paradigm is so important to the sports outreach movement. Because we could well, within a few decades, become totally irrelevant, totally impractical, if we don't get to this bottom rung level, of which all the Agone Institute courses are taught. Level one is a Christocentric, meaning Christ-centered, theological truths that found the formation, that, that form rather the foundation of our three-tier paradigm and all that we do. That then informs level two, which are biblically based philosophical principles. The theological truths are the why we do what we do. The level two is the when, where, with whom we do it. And out of that emerges our level three methodological models. And our methodological models then have a fourfold evaluative rubric that is efficiently effective and strategically relevant. Efficient, effective, strategic, relevant. And if they are not those four, it's probably because we have not gone down to the level one. Let me just give you a quick understanding of why this is important. Recently, a number of sports ministries uh, para-ministries that are sports-related have decided that playing sport on Sunday is okay. And they have said that not only sh can we play sport, but that we should actually organize sport activities on Sunday. Many churches then come to us in CSRM and my role as CSRM, and they say, should we play sports on Sunday? And I say, you need to go deeper. You need to go deeper than that to say, should we play? You, go, you have to go back to the ologies. At least five conceptual concepts there at the level one. The first ology is ecclesiology, meaning what is the church? It would answer questions of the philosophical principle of when does it meet, where does it meet, with whom does it meet. So can it meet on a softball field or a cricket pitch, if you will? Can it meet on the Lord's Day morning? It tells you where, when, why, the theologies do. The second ology is, is soteriology. What does it mean to be saved? What's the, what's the theology of salvation? And this is relevant because what does it communicate to the people that you're going to play sport or organizing sport for? It melds then into the third ology, 
which is missiology. Because many of our brothers and sisters in these para sports ministries are, their hearts are right. We've got to go win those people who are playing sport on Sunday, so let's go. Missiology tells us we have to go, and they're right about that. But it doesn't necessarily follow that just because we're supposed to reach them, that we're supposed to go join them. Otherwise, you and I would have to take our clothes off to go reach strippers. Now, that's a horrible thought for anybody. So you see that this is why this three-tier paradigm is so important. Those three ologies, when combined with the doctrine of the Lord's Day, the doctrine of the Sabbath Day, will then inform us about our philosophies, and then out of those philosophies, we can begin to construct our methodologies. Then, all along the side, you see that you have this how we do what we do. These are our core values. In a local church, very seldom is a person going to remember whether they won a game, what the score was, but yet they will always remember how they felt. Was it organized? Was it excellent? Did they, did they see a love in action? And so your core values come through in all of these stages and should come through in all of how you organize and then implement your ministries. Okay, the three-tier paradigm is going to be our, our foundation for this course. Next time we're going to go and we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about the ancient games, a little bit more review, and the ancient world and how it intersected with the first century church and lessons that we can learn for the 21st century out of that time of antiquity. Again, I'm Dr. Greg Linville. This is the Agon Institute, and it is the models of sports ministry in the 21st century. Thanks for joining us.